Hey guys, happy Saturday. Alright, I'm doing another little spring card. And I'm using this new set from Simon Says called Extra Sweet Easter. And we're going to use this little guy with the um, wheelbarrow full of jelly beans and flowers and eggs and stuff. So, Alright, so I'm going to use some uh, Distress Ink in Tumble Glass. And this is just regular Distress Ink, not the Oxide. Uh, mainly because I don't have a blue that's light enough to do that. And I'm using this shaped car, if you can see that. Um, it's just a mason jar, and that is from Honey Bee Stamps. And I love their shaped cards. They have like a seashell and um, this one, and they have some type of coffee cup. And I like a big shaped card already, so... Uh, I wish more companies would put those out. If you guys know of more, let me know, because I would like to get those. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to kind of lightly go over here. I mainly want, I probably should have went lighter down here, but I mainly want this sky part to be a nice blue. And the top part's going to be covered up, the bottom part's going to be colored in, so it's not really going to matter that much. Alright. So there's that. Um, okay, here's that piece. Uh, it comes with, oh man, <laughs> here they are. Okay, um, I've cut a bunch out because we might, I don't know, I'm not for sure what we're going to use, what color was. Um, I've got the general colors down I want to use in my mind, but just in case, you know, we mess up, we'll just do something different. So I always cut a few so we can practice if we need to. Now this one is the Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide. And I think I'm just going to go around there just with a little bit of pink to kind of accentuate that and kind of outline it a little bit. So, yeah, that'll work, I guess. Maybe come in just a hint more just for a little bit more color all right so there's that and then I've cut out a bunch of little clouds we're gonna do that but you know what we probably need to do our stamping first so let's kind of position that how we want and then we'll go ahead and bring in our misty Alright, so glad it's the weekend. I know you guys hear me say that all the time, but I like, I seriously live for the weekend. I really do. I'm not really doing much this weekend. I'm going to go up to my fiance's here in just a bit, but I want to uh, do a little bit of stamping first. I'm not really going out or doing anything. We're actually going to watch a Lifetime movie. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's good. It comes on at 8 o'clock if you guys are in the Eastern time zone or whatever. Um, I don't actually, well, you probably won't get to see it because, but sometimes they'll rerun it on Sunday. Um, but because I probably won't be able to upload this until tonight because it'll probably be over 15 minutes. Let's just give that a little stamp. We'll do it one more, just one more time, just for good measure. I like to always stamp it at least twice. Alright, that'll work, that'll work. I think that's all stamping, unless we stamp on the word up here, but I might put the bow up there, so we'll see. Sorry if my uh, dogs are barking in the background there. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. We'll just use some tape here. Keep waiting, kind of keeping an ear out for my aunt. Um, my father is gone with her and my other aunt to look for the first aunt, a car. Her car kind of, she knew it was having trouble and things, but it kind of gave up the other day and died so they're off looking for a car they kind of they went last weekend before it messed up but um 
just kind of getting a, a feel of what she wanted and things. But um, this time they're hopefully going to do the deal. But, or it's more necessary, rather, because that one exploded. So, there's that. Um, I'm afraid that, afraid that's what's going to happen to mine before it's over. Um, Alright, I pre-cut some little thingies. Okay, here they are. Alright, so I'm using some of these little 3D mounting things here. So, we're just going to turn all these over. Go ahead and pop that on, I think. I think it should take two and we are probably going to do some glossy accents on those as well I believe that's a little thick I hope that doesn't show but we'll see so I still I need to make some treats for school little spring little baskets or something for the kids and uh few more things on here probably and then that will be good I'm just going to kind of move on and call it good um, it's, not, it's never as many as I want to do or that I have ideas for but I don't know my mojo's not there for after a while like if I don't do them or I think I need to work on them early like way early because that's when I'm feeling I think it's because that's when the stores are putting it all out and things so I don't know so I think we're just going to do a nice little cloud scene there. If you can see it kind of stands up. And then I have a grass border down here, which looking at it is now way, way too big. So let's go ahead and get some scissors and trim that off. Still pretty large. I want to, I want to be able to see like his little feet, and probably should have moved him up some. But oh well. So I think we're probably going to do something like that, and then I'll trim around it and just kind of make it work. Um. Yeah, that's all I'll do. But anyway, we're gonna do our coloring first. So I know I want my little birdies. Yellow, I believe. Um, the kids have been having fun at school lately. We've done some cool projects. We used one with eggs. That was fun. It was, um, I, I have like a million eggs that I buy after the holidays or whatever. And um, so I always have those on hand. And a lot of times I'll do... Um, feeling eggs and I'll let them do little faces and things like that for the little kids and then for the big kids that I have um, we do kind of like a kindness project I'm always telling them we're doing kindness projects for the school or whatever um, and we'll do let's see let's do let's do this pink we'll try that is that kind of close to that you guys think I think it's what we're going to go for. Anyway, um, so we made encouragement eggs, I called them. And you just pick out your eggs. I let them do like five or six each. And um, they could write like with a permanent marker on the outside, encouragement egg. And then on the inside, I had um, like three sheets of kind of like positive affirmations, I guess. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's just... Go over that. Let's color the bunny. He's going to wear pink or she or whatever. Um, I originally sort of thought blue to go with that, but I think I want to liven it up just, just a bit. He can have like blue shoes or something or she, whoever. Um, but anyway, so they cut all those up and you just cut like tiny little strips and fold them up. And so each egg will have, I don't know, like 25 little positive affirmation type things in there and um so they were they were pretty excited to do that and then they could give them to people around the school or people you know in their home life or whatever and uh so that was fun and they seemed to to get a kick out of that and um 
it went over well. Plus it took up like the entire period. And so I always like those projects that keep them working like bell to bell, you know, and they, they hate to leave and <laughs> quit and all that. And, but it's, uh, it's great for behavior stuff when, when they're dead on it and working all the time. So, all right, we're going to color, what color is this? Brick beige. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to outline this little thingy, the wheelbarrow, borrow, however you say it. Um, nah, I guess we're going to have to color it all because it looks weird. And again, I rarely ever use my Copic markers for the real deal, like shading and all that. I just, I really, really like them as markers. So, and I think there's like a great color assortment. And, and sometimes I'll use them for shading, but not, not very often. Um, I think it looks great when you do it. I mean, it's amazing. I'm not very good at it, but it does look great. Um, but that's just not really, not really my thing. I think those markers are going to fall out. All right, so I'm going to color the little wheel gray. I guess we'll just color the whole thing gray. All right, so, woo. so let's take this. And hmm, let's do a bunch of blue jelly beans. I don't know if we should do them all blue. But maybe. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So that's going to be blue too. And this over here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Anything I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be blue, I've decided. And maybe a stripe on the egg in the middle. Maybe a stripe on that egg. Let's do a blue one right there. Stripe on that egg. That egg. And that egg. Why not? We'll liven it up with some other color in a minute. And this egg. Okay. Um, so we don't have any orange in there yet. We could do a darker pink, grab some purples. We might have to test out the purple a little bit. Um, the orange might be a little too bright. That's my tester. All right, so there's that color, that color. That color. That one's a little dark, so let's just go. Let's go first with this more pastel looking color. We'll color all the tops. Whatever's considered a top of an egg. That one, that one. I don't know what that is. That looks like a top. Here's a top. Do you guys just go through like that randomly? I don't know. Okay, so now let's give it, let's go with this bright pink. Um, add one right there. Maybe a bright pink jelly bean down at his foot. And the bottom here. Um, maybe right there. Maybe the corner of that. And let's get it right. Right in there, too. Okay. So, now let's just go ahead and add some orange, I guess. I hope it's not too, like, weird. Uh, I think it's okay. I don't really think you can hardly tell the difference much between the orange and the pink there, so. Might not have been a good choice. I don't know what that is. So, we're just going to color that a little orange. I'll give him an orange jelly bean down here. All right, I need one more color here, something. Uh, let's, let's add some yellow, like the birdies. We'll tie the birdies into it. And pretty much finish it off, I believe. Anything else I can do orange? I guess that's about it. All right, um, what do you guys think about, I think I'm gonna leave his face white and use this Wink of Stella pen in the Glitter Clear. I love adding Wink of Stella to 
pretty much everything. So I'm just going to do the whole bunny here. And I think that'll take away from, and I might add like a little bit of uh, pink on the cheeks or something just to kind of liven it up. But, oh, there's handles there. You know what? We got to get that. That is part of the little container thing, little barrow. So let's do that. We're just going to glitter them up because can't ever have too much glitter on a card. There's this little tail. So cute. And then we're going to do this whole thing. Because that kind of, that tan, it kind of needs livened up, I feel like, anyway. So, And then all of these. I don't want to squeeze. I feel like I need a little bit more to come out, but I don't want to squeeze it. Because, you know, sometimes it comes out in those huge clumps. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and do a little on our clouds here. Little sparkle, sparkle. That's not too bad. Maybe a little something right around here. <laughs> nah, let's just do it all over. Okay. Um, Alright, that looks okay. So now we need to add our grass. Oh no, I almost feel like it looks better without grass. It's weird, but... I did cut the grass especially for it. All right, let me trim off just a little bit more here. It's going to be hard to get that on there with any adhesive much. Maybe it's going to have to be like wet glue, which I really don't want, but it might just have to be anyway. I don't have to wait till I dry it, so. Um, yeah, that's what it's going to have to be. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to put glossy accents, like I said, on the clouds, so probably just going to put it on here, too, if it'll come out. Nope, it is stuck. All right, just a second, guys. Let me get, got to grab a needle here. Okay. That I should do it and get it unstuck. Now it's stuck in there and won't come out. Urgh. Let's pull it with something else here. Nope, that won't work. I hate that. <laughs> the struggle's real, guys. Alright, wiggle it, wiggle it. Come on. I feel like my hands are slippery. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, do I have some kind of tweezers or pliers or something? Maybe I can hook this into it. How about that? Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, there it is. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, so... All right, so that's glued up. I'll just put that down and then flip it over. Go ahead, probably get our scissors all sticky, but oh well. Can always clean them. Just trim around that. Um, the card edge there. Pull that down just a hair. Well, that looks like a whack job there. Let me see if I can straighten that up a little bit. <laughs> I don't like it to be like pointy. It's a little better. Not much. Okay. So there's that. All right, so now what time are we on? 19 minutes. Oh, well, definitely over the 15. Okay, so we're going to put our glossy accents right here. And on our white fluffy clouds, I think that'll be pretty. 
and I do have to put a little bow. It'll be right up here, and uh, I think that'll probably finish it off, unless I want to add just a hint of pink there to um, my bunny cheeks, and I believe I will, because I don't know. He's got so much pink on the bottom. You kind of want to bring that pink up to the top. So we will just do that. All right. Where is something pink? Go. All right. So let's give him just a hint there. Maybe on the outside of his eye a little bit, just a little hint of blue, and I don't know, I feel like that dot didn't really do much. Let me get like a really, a really soft pink maybe. I don't know, does that look normal? I don't know, not exactly, it looks like two dots, kind of. I don't really know if I helped or hurt that, but whatever. Okay, so, where are the little bows? All right. So these came, um, random things, let me see if I have some cut out, uh, different things came with the die, like the, uh, the card die, the, what do you call this, mason card die, um, like this you could put on the top, or I guess this could be like a label for it, but it also comes with this cute little bow, so I'm just going to color the bow a nice pink, they're markers. And I'm, I'm learning to just go ahead and cut, cut out everything I cut out in white. And you can always, because I used to like try to keep stuff cut out ahead and little tags and things to do that quick card making sometimes. And, uh, but now I've learned just cut it all out in white. Don't worry about it. And you can always color it with a marker. So that comes in much handier, I believe. Now, larger dies, I guess you can't really might not be a good thing, but small dies like this, I think look fine colored. Alrighty. So I also have um, that big bunch of dies, not dies, uh, little halfback pearls I bought from Michaels. So I have a pink one that could go in the middle or I have a white one. Yeah, I guess I'll go pink. We'll just, since we have it out, we'll use our glossy accents there as glue. And, all right, I think we are done. So there is our cute little bunny um, uh, mason jar card. And I'm not sure what I'm going to stamp on the inside yet. But they come, it comes with lots of great sentiments. Um, or, you know, you can use one from another set. But um, I like this hopping by with chocolate and jelly beans or... Have a sweet Easter for somebody special. You're excellent. Um, anyway, several of those are cute. So we'll just leave it as that. And I will decide on that after it dries. Because can't really open that and stamp. Anyway, so thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And hope you're having a good weekend. And happy stamping. Bye.